Hey everybody, it's Susan Milner with Florida Future Realty again, and today I wanted to talk about lease option. We get an awful lot of calls and emails from potential buyers who are looking to lease option a home for sale in Cape Coral, and I just wanted to briefly let you know what a lease option is and what it isn't, and what to expect if you're going to um, try to purchase a home via a lease option. So I did a little research today just to see everything that was out there in Cape Coral. Um, I only searched for single family homes and of course the price range has started in like the 80000 range and went all the way up into a couple million dollars for homes that were either offering seller financing or lease option or lease purchase. And the reason I looked for all three was because usually if they're open to one they're open to another and if you're looking for a lease option seller financing may be the way to go also so I just wanted to you know cover all of our bases with the search so I did a search and I found that the majority of the lease option um, sellers were asking for a minimum of 10 percent down and in a lot of cases 20 percent down some were even asking for 30 to 50 percent down which is quite a substantial um, there were probably only five that were offering as low as 5% down. Now, rewind back several years ago, 2004 and 5, 6, people were offering lease options for 3 to 5% down. Um, you could get in with very little money. And of course, we all know what happened in the market busted and all the banks had all the foreclosures and the, the owners were doing the short sales. And so now owners they aren't going to take as huge of a risk. And if you obviously can't go get financing at a bank, there's a reason why. So you are a risk to this owner who's going to offer some sort of financing or lease option terms for you. So that being said, if you do have the ability to come up with 10 or 20% down, then but you can't get you know regular conventional financing or FHA financing from a bank or a lender, then off looking at these lease options can be really beneficial to you. And how it works is that you put down the down pause the down payment, the deposit, and that is non-refundable. So people, if you don't end up buying this property at the end of the term or before the end of the term, however your agreement's written, you lose that money. The owner takes the money, you get none of it. It doesn't have, it's not like when you rent and you put a deposit down if you leave the house nice that you get it back. So you want to make sure that you understand that that money is non-refundable. So if you're putting down 10 or 20 percent that's non-refundable, you better be sure that you're going to be able to buy it at the end of your year two or three years, whatever your term is. Okay, that being said, typically speaking, the purchase price is going to be slightly higher than market value. That's because, again, you're going to be buying it in a year or two. We're seeing prices go up now, at least stabilizing. So the owner's not going to give it to you for today's price when they're not going to get their actual money for a couple of years. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So you're going to pay a little bit more for the actual purchase price, and the money you put down is going to be completely non-refundable. However, it it will be a credit at closing toward the purchase price. So you don't lose it if you buy the house. It goes towards the purchase price. Now the next part of that is your monthly payment. And again, that's going to be higher than market rent because the owner is going to be crediting you towards the purchase also. So they may give you $100 or $200 a month of the rent that you're paying put it aside for the purchase of the property. So then say in two years, say you put down $10,000 down and then you've been making an additional $100 to $200 credit each month toward the purchase price. All that money sitting there for you now for the down payment. So when you go to the lender to get maybe a regular loan now, you can say, look, this is how much money I have for my down, down payment. I did a lease option and they can see that. And that could even go towards your closing cost or whatever the bank needs it to go to. And then you go to a regular closing, you get your own financing at that time. Now the other option is there's a lot of owner financing being offered, which is basically where they just act as the bank. So they're giving you, the, you know, you're signing a promissory note with them, they're giving you basically a mortgage. You're giving them a mortgage because they're giving you the money. But most of those people are looking for 20, 30, 40, 50% down also because there's a risk involved there. So if, you're, if you can't get the regular financing and you want to get owner financing, just know in your mind that you're not going to be able to get it with a 
$1,000 down, $5,000 down in most cases, you're going to need somewhere between a minimum of about 10% and, you know, even up to 20, 30, 40% on some properties. But if you have 10% and you're looking for one of these houses, we can probably make it work. And again, this is all negotiable. So if we see something that's asking 10% and maybe you have 7%, we can always put in an offer, write up an offer and see if they're willing to negotiate a little bit. Um, everything's negotiable. So if you are interested in a lease option and you need more information or you'd like a list of some of the homes that are being offered um, on a lease option term, please give us a call at 239-542-8521 or you can go on our website at floridafutureagents.com and sign up for a search and we can help you from there. And you can also always email us too at inquiry at Florida Future Agents. Again, we really look forward to working with you and helping explain these processes to you and finding the properties that are going to match your needs. So this has been Susan Milner with Florida Future Realty and make it a great day.